Hey, hello friends. Welcome to this session on triangles. And uh, today we are going to start an all new series on congruent triangles. So this topic is going to be very, very interesting. It is a very important topic as well because uh, the knowledge of triangles is going to help us later in coordinate geometry, vector algebra and other things. And uh, as the name suggests, we are going to study congruent triangles. So it's all about triangles first. And then we also need to understand what congruent triangles means, right? So the basic properties of triangles like angle sum property, exterior angle property and all that we have already learned. Now today and henceforth in all the subsequent sessions in this series, we are going to discuss properties related to congruent triangles. So we'll start with first what is meant by congruent triangles, the definition. We will see whether uh, congruence occurs only for triangles or there are other geometric figures as well where congruency uh, is valid. Then we will talk about what is the criteria for two geometric shapes to be congruent to each other. Then once they are congruent, then what all properties can be studied around it. Subsequently, we will be also taking up some amount, you know, some, some important theorems like Pythagoras theorem, Apollonius theorem. There are many such theorems related to triangles. In fact, triangles is a very enriched uh, geometric uh, shape or figure, I would say. Because lots of properties related to triangles are there which we need to study. Not only interesting, but also gives a lot of help or, you know, they come a very, you know, they come very handy when we are dealing with other mathematical subjects as well. So let's begin. So our approach will be, we will be trying to validate all those concepts and theories on GeoGebra software. I would encourage you also to uh, download the app or you can also use the online version. Of, or the browser, uh, you can just uh, uh, go through your browsers, uh, you know, this thing, you can do it on your browser itself. So that helps in understanding and uh, geometry until unless you do it, you construct, it becomes very boring at times. And secondly, you will not get the real insight of, you know, geometrical properties until unless you do it yourself. So as far as possible, we'll try to do it on this software. Okay. So here is a uh, uh, the first thing. So let's first understand what a, what congruent triangles are. Triangles we already know. So let's first draw a triangle. We have been working with triangles for a long time now. So this is a triangle. It is named as ABC. And now I'm going to show you how to create a congruent triangle of this one. Okay. So I'm just going to copy it and uh, make a simple So here we have taken two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle A1, B1, C1. Okay, so what is what will be meant by congruent triangles is this, that if you uh, have a close look on both of these, they look exactly the same, isn't it? Now the best part is if I take this one and try to superpose this on ABC, it will sit on exactly like that can you see it's exactly fits in so there is no difference whatsoever between the two triangles that is they are superposing superposing each other right so this is uh now this is an example of example of congruent triangles so hence if you again if you have to let's say um enumerate the criteria of congruence that is when will they super superpose each other that is they're exactly a replica of the same you know so one is the replica of the other what do we infer in that so it, it exactly fits in in terms of size and shape right so that will be possible our intuition also says that will happen only when let's say angle a this angle a is equal to this a1 then b has to be equal to b1 and c has to be equal to c1 Moreover, the sides also have to be correspondingly equal. Now mark my words, I'm saying correspondingly equal. Meaning what? So AB has to be equal to A1, B1. It's not that AB will be equal to any of the three sides. No, only one side AB is equal to equal to only A1, B1, right? This is so hence we say AB is corresponding to A1, B1. Similarly, BC will be corresponding to B1, C1 and CA side 
is corresponding to C1, A1, right? If we go for angles, angle A is corresponding to A1, B corresponds to B1, and C corresponds to C1. Let's also try and measure these angles and see whether they are actually true. So if I measure these, so I'm getting alpha is 74.29. So this also must be 74.29. And indeed, so you can see both the angles are 74.29. Let's now measure angle B. Okay, so angle B is 75.96. And here B1 is 75.96. Amazing. And what about these two? So this is 29.74 and this one and this one again 29.74 so you can see both are or all the corresponding angles are equal right there is absolutely no problem right so this is what we learn about congruency the criteria are point number one the angles must be correspondingly equal a must be equal to a1 b must be equal to b1 C must be equal to C1, right? Point number two, the sides must be correspondingly equal. AB is equal to A1, B1. BC is equal to B1, C1. And CA is equal to C1, A1, right? Alternatively, you can also say that the ratio of the two corresponding sides is 1 is to 1, right? So AB upon A1, B1 is 1 upon 1. BC upon B1, C1 is 1 upon 1. And CA upon C1, A1 is again 1 upon 1. Why did I, you know, highlight this uh, ratio thing is, later on when we are taking up similarity, then the same ratios will be equal then, right? So what is similarity? What is, uh, what are the properties of similar triangles and other things we will be taking up when we are studying similar triangles? For the time being, please understand that the criteria for two uh, triangles to be congruent is one, that their angles must be correspondingly equal and their sides must be correspondingly equal. That's it, these two. So for your, uh, you know, uh, for to, to convince you, let us try one length. So BC is 8, you can see. And here B1, C1 is also 8. What about C and A? So length is 8.06. Here is also 8.06. A and B, 4.12. And A1, B1 is 4.12. Now, in this case, you could see that the figures also appear to be same, exactly same. But there could be cases where they don't appear to be exactly same, but yet they could be congruent. What do I mean? So let me just draw a random line here. Okay, so I'm drawing a random line and I'm going to reflect this triangle about this line. Okay, can you see that? I got a reflection of reflection of the given triangle. So for the timing, if I just remove it, that, so here is the thing that is that disappears. This also I don't want. So let me remove this and now just talk about these two triangles. Okay, so these two triangles, ABC and EFG, no, sorry, FGH. If you see, they are, again, they don't look to be similar, but they are, or exactly same shape, but they actually are. And how do I know? So we can measure, let's say angle first. So between uh, FG and uh, GH, let's measure the angle first. So this angle is... So you can see 75.96, it corresponds to point B. B and G are corresponding points. Okay, let's measure the angle, this one, 74.29. So this A and F are corresponding. And clearly, the other H and C are corresponding. Okay, they're same, same angles. Now, if I measure the distance between F and G, so it will exactly match A, B, see? A, B and F, G are same. Similarly, F and H is 8.06, which is A, C. And H and G is 8, which is B, C. So hence, side G, H is equal to B, C. Side F, G is equal to A, B. And side F, H is equal to A, C. Right? So hence, triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle 
एफ एफ जी एच राइट सो एफ जी एच ए बी सी इज कॉन्ग्रोन टू एफ जी एच सो दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू राइट कॉन्ग्रोएंट ट्राइंगल्स एंड गोइंग फॉरवर्ड इन द सब्सिक्वेंट सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी मोर अबाउट uh properties related to congruent triangles and uh, as we mentioned there are two criteria uh, of proving or establishing that two triangles are congruent but triangle is such a beautiful geometric shape that we don't really need to prove each of the equalities so we can eliminate a few yet the triangles will be congruent right so one simple uh, example could be you know that the sum of three triangles of a triangle is 180 degrees so if i have to match one by one all these angles that is if f is equal to a and g is equal to b then automatically h will be equal to c i don't need to prove that h is equal to c if f and g are equal to a and b respectively right or the otherwise b and a respectively so point being um, in triangles we can eliminate few uh, equality you know we don't need to establish all the six correspondence that is the three angles and three sides in fact with three correspondence also the entire you know we can prove that the two triangles are congruent so this is what we are going to learn in subsequent session guys mm -hmm.